All right, guys, so we got all these parts back here. I'm gonna put some grease on the actual spline that the clutch rides on here. And I'm also gonna put some grease on these rollers and hopefully that will keep them lubricated well so that they can actually spin and not get seized up. Hopefully this is the whole problem that we were having with the forward clutch not engaging had to do with these things not spinning and uh, that would be a nice thing if we solved it with this for sure I'd be a happy camper oh making a mess guys uh, that's what you got to do sometimes make a mess to fix a problem so we'll grease these suckers up good got one more here I got so much grease on my gloves that there should be plenty. Let's see. There you go. That's cool. So, I need to get this spline greased up good. There we go. That's nice. Uh huh. And I'll slip this on. I'm actually going to put some more grease on there, I think. Let's see, let me give it another squirt or two. I want all this stuff to slide freely, not have any constraints. I'm actually going to put some in this end here also. Let's see. There we go, cool. So, let me get something to wipe off my gloves with. Now we got the actual plate here that the uh, things ride in. And that's the next step here. One of these over here has a real big chunk out of it, which isn't so cool looking. Let's make sure these all fit in there. But that one will spin. That's cool. How about this one? this one in here Let's see yeah that one spins and this one over here is what I'm gonna call the dirty looking one that has a little bit of shit on there let's see we'll put this one in there yeah this is the one that's all loose and doesn't want to fit in there so I think I'm gonna have to clean this plate up a little more. All right, so I got all three in here and all three spin. Just a matter of cleaning up those openings a little bit. And the hard part is actually putting this back onto the tractor without them falling out. So let's see if we can actually do that. Yeah, I got a lot of grease in there, so it worked good. All right, let me tighten up these nuts and uh, should be ready to test this bad boy out. Probably gonna have to do the same thing to the other side. Let's tighten these suckers up and uh, we have to gap it. It's supposed to be like a gap of 50 thousandths in the clutch. And the rule of thumb on the street is that you use your key switch as your feeler gauge. So we'll take the key switch out and we'll put it in there for the feeler gauge. She's turning good now, that's awesome. So let me hook this rod up. Okay. 
and grab my key. This will be our feeler gauge on the clutch material here. I think it's pretty darn close right where it is. Tighten up this front side a little bit. The back's a little bit too tight and the front's too it's just about perfect. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're pretty good here. So let's see what happens if we fire this thing up, how it works. Take off these greasy gloves. I was using this tractor last weekend, so hopefully it won't be too hard to start. Let's see. off it so now we've got to find all the mounts for the snowplow and the chains and we can throw that crap on it so sweet <laughs> <laughs> 